Hello there, and welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I wanted to share a little bit of how I create a magical home space, and also bring aspects of magic and beauty into my daily life to transform the moments of mundane living into something that inspires me to feel and be my best self. Living in a big busy city, I really value being able to return home after a day of work and enter a space that is calming, welcoming and serene, a space that is my own. I have lived in a few various places in my life and I've truly found that a beautiful life cannot necessarily be found by location, but rather has to be consciously created over time. I've also found that what truly makes a house a home is when you instill your space, no matter how small, with your own love and appreciation and imbue your home with all the lovely feelings, sensations or objects that bring you a lot of joy or celebrate who you are as an individual. As Coco Chanel said, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. For a long time, I had put away a part of me that was so in touch with my inner child and everything that she loved and that was important to her. Since my childhood, I was in love with stories, fairy tales and folklore. I was always creative and loved making anything I could with my hands and I loved ballet. I was absolutely enraptured by the natural world around me and built fairy houses just in case a little fairy might have turned up to visit our garden at home. I believed in a beautiful world full of magic and my love for stories and fairy tales only grew deeper in my teen years as I decided I was going to live my life and passion as a ballerina. I would fulfill my dream of being able to be in a fairy tale world every time I would go on stage, where just for a period of time I could immerse myself in another reality, one full of magic, imagination, love and beauty, and I could take the audience on the journey with me. My love for fairy tales, magic and the natural world had never left me. Since I stopped dancing professionally, I felt even more need to bring these aspects into my everyday as they bring me so much joy and remind me of who I am, so that on those days when life is hard and I'm not sure of myself, I can always come back to my home and feel safe, loved and me again. And to me, this means the most. I love decorating my home with objects I made myself, 
my paintings, crafts, favourite books and my many plants. I also often take a lot of inspiration from my favourite books, stories and movies. They always remind me of my childhood, what I love and also of my inner child and what is important to her. As a creative person, I also love to find secondhand objects that maybe don't have a particular purpose, however they have their own story and they bring me joy to look at every day and add to my happiness. I love to fill my home with beauty and things that inspire me to be imaginative and creative and to imagine not how life is all the time but maybe how things could be and this makes me happy feeling like I live in a fairy tale of my own making. Some parts of my home resemble a cosy hobbit hole and other parts resemble more of a whimsical witchy space where I can work and craft with my plants and herbs in the way that I love so much. I love my home because I've spent so much time to make it my own with so many handmade objects and aspects of who I am. It is a space that brings me peace and joy and also inspires my creativity and reminds me to be myself. And to me, that's all that matters. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that maybe gave you a little bit of inspiration to decorate your home in the way that you love and to not be self-conscious about what you enjoy and what makes you happy. Let's chat down in the comments below or over on Instagram and let me know how you love to decorate your home and what inspires you. I wish you a wonderful day or night and I will see you in my next video.